Elon said at the last shareholder meeting that Tesla would have its chat GPT moment by the end of 2023. And what this means to a lot of investors is likely there's going to be some kind of big innovation in AI or in simplest terms, Tesla's share price is probably going to increase quite a bit at some point in 2023. Well, according to Barron's, this could come pretty shortly. And it's not really something that is one factored into Tesla stock, meaning there could be a lot of upside off of this, but it's not really something people are also expecting. And I think it makes a lot of sense. We'll talk about that here in this video. On top of it, I want to point out something that is starting to be pointed out by The Motley Fool. And it is the fact that Tesla just unlocked a very profitable stream of revenue. I also don't think this is factored into Tesla stock. And all of this is not even a factor in my bullish thesis for Tesla. If you guys have been subscribed to the channel and watched just a couple of my videos, then you would know I think advertising is really the thing that I am most bullish about with Tesla because your average citizen in America or on a global scale doesn't know a lot of about Tesla. So I think really the curve to advertising is going to be pretty straight up. And I think the demand concern that you've seen in 2022 and the early parts of 2023 is going to do a complete 180, kind of like a Facebook did where everyone was worried about advertising and Facebook and they're spending too much money. I think the problem that Tesla is going to see by the end of 2023 is a production concern. <laughs> Not to mention the Cybertruck already has 1.5 million pre-orders. So let's get into all of this information. We also have ISM Services PMI that came out today that I want to give you guys the latest on. Hit the like button. Tap, tickle, touch, smash. I don't care what you do to it. But make it turn blue for me. And subscribe to the channel if and only if you guys get value out of this video. And most importantly, forget the like button or subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. What do you guys think about this? Why are you bullish on Tesla? Where do you think Tesla is going to go over the next 3, 6, 12 months? Let's dive into it. So I want to start with this actually that Tesla may have just unlocked a new profitable revenue stream. Now, we're not going to read this article word for word, just basically summarize it for you. And I want to start with this because this is already something that we kind of know about. And it's the partnership with Ford to let other electric vehicles use the Tesla charging network. But really, on, on top of this, it's the future here because... Ford doing this partnership with Tesla shows that they're really not interested in creating their own charging network. And this is kind of like, in my opinion, playing the pickaxe and shovel, put that in quotes, of the AI industry with a NVIDIA. They are so loved right now because what's powering AI? Well, NVIDIA. What's going to power electric vehicles, aka charging? Likely going to be the Tesla supercharging network now as the motley fool says this is really on a, a big scale of tesla's business a small portion right now but this is going to grow into a larger chunk over time and that this incremental increase to revenue that we'll see from this ford partnership and other partnerships coming probably sooner rather than later it's basically going to fall straight to the bottom line so that's fundamentally positive for Tesla. And if Tesla does implement the same monthly subscription for $12.99 that they give Tesla owners to reduce the kilowatt hour rate as well, that would also add to that subscription revenue, that service revenue, and add to the bottom line of Tesla in a bigger way than not. As of the first quarter of 2023, the revenue bucket, as Motley Fool says, was just $1.8 billion of its total $23 billion based off of services revenue. So this has a long way to grow. And I think that is positive. Now, let's switch gears and talk about this chat GPT moment. 
And it's probably not what a lot of people think. This article from Barron says how Tesla stock could have its own chat GPT moment. And again, Elon said this at the last shareholder meeting. He said Tesla would have a chat GPT moment by the end of 2023. Now, this actually comes from Canaccord analyst George Gian. I don't know how to say that. So I, I really don't know how to say that. So I'm not even going to try. But they say that Tesla, quote, should strongly advocate for a price adjustment to increase FSD ad adoption and incentivize more Tesla owners to experience the current FSD beta. He wants a cut to the price of Tesla's so-called full self-driving software, the company's top-level driver assistance program. The reason a cut would help is obvious. FSD is pricey costing buyers $15,000. It's also available for a subscription price, $199 a month or $99 if buyers pay $6,000 up front for a driver assistance upgrade. A lower price would get more people to buy in early. Once the masses truly appreciate what FSD generally is capable of, Tesla may see its chat GPT moment, referring to obviously the artificial intelligence chatbot. They go on to say that Tesla's AI opportunity is underappreciated and that if Elon gets what Elon wants, then Tesla's full self-driving self is going to reach level four and that's going to be a game changer for Tesla and the industry when it does. Now, I think this is a very interesting concept here by incentivizing full self-driving, by reducing prices here which is almost a, a, a complete 100 percent profit margin obviously nothing's 100 percent, but it's very high that's going to be a huge benefit to tesla's bottom line and help speed up the adoption of tesla and for investors to fully appreciate where Tesla is at in the AI curve, I think Tesla's a lot farther along than what people want to give them credit for. After all, they're making robots. Robots. I said, I will buy a robot when they can do chores. When they can do housework and do the dishes, I'm going to buy me a Tesla robot. Because who has time for that, right? Just as <laughs> an example, Tesla is far above the competition in AI, but the stock, you wouldn't be able to tell that based off of the performance of Tesla. Now, as of recently, as of today, Tesla stock is going higher by about 2.3%. Tesla is at $218.92. It's very volatile and you have seen a decent push up. Tesla stock is now above that 200 day moving average. And I think it's on the road to 250 and then subsequently to over 300 hundred dollars per share now none of this even incorporates the thing that i am most bullish on when it comes to tesla and that is advertising i i think it's it's a, a crazy concept that a company can grow to the scale that tesla has without advertising and i think that's where a lot of the the benefits going to come from with with tesla to get knowledge out there to the general population is going to turn a demand worry into a production worry. And I think that's a much better problem to have. Now, not to mention the Tesla Cybertruck already has 1.5 million pre-orders. That's almost the equivalent of all of the vehicles Tesla is expected to, sit, to sell in 2023. So needless to say, that is a huge chunk of revenue that is just sitting there waiting for Tesla to fully exploit. Now let's talk about what's actually happening today in the markets because this is very bullish. This is sending a lot of your big tech stocks higher such as Tesla today. It's the ISM services PMI. Basically across the board, this was positive. Now services have been a major sticky role in the inflation reports. And this was very positive for inflation, but it is negative for the economy. Most of the economy 
is a, 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 a really service-based economy, right? So the recession odds are higher today than they were yesterday off of this data. But inflation looks a lot less sticky from this data. So it really is a trade-off, but markets are excited today. ISM Services PMI for May came in at 50.3. You were expecting 52.4. So much better than expectations. Factory orders month over month came in at 0.4. You were expecting a 0.8% increase. ISM services employment came in at 49.2. You were expecting 50.8. ISM services new orders came in at 52.9. You were expecting 56.2. ISM services prices came in at 56.2. You were expecting 59.7. ISM service business activity came in at 51.5, you were expecting 52.1. So across the board, this was positive for inflation or, or kind of looking ahead and where inflation might go. Huge positive. Now, you also seen a three-month and a six-month bond auction. Those yields coming in on the three-month at 5.22%, on the six-month coming in at 5.25%. This is Another hurdle for the markets as the TGA, the Treasury General account, has gotten run down as of recently. We were facing a possible default. There was only about $35 billion um, left in the Treasury account. You're going to see, by some estimates, upwards of $1.4 trillion in bonds being sold in the next six months by the government. And that's going to pull liquidity out of this market and, and, and be a risk to this rally and you've seen the start of this today but it doesn't look like it's quite affecting the markets as of yet now all of this positive news that could be coming out for tesla it's chat gpt moment word of how well advertising is is doing and the new orders that they are getting so on and so forth these bullish catalysts that we know about well tesla short sellers continue to lose more and more money they have now lost 21.5 billion dollars they lost 500 million dollars today alone based off of this 2.3 percent increase you could be getting ready for a short squeeze in tesla stock tesla's short interest is more than double more than 5x what in apple's short interest currently is and I think you could make an argument that Tesla at a 50% discount from its all-time highs compared to an Apple currently above its all-time highs or at its all-time highs is the least risky option out of the two, just to make a simple comparison. So this is a lot of money that is currently sold short that might need to start getting bought back pretty soon here. So... What are the options telling us right now? So actually on the day today with Tesla, you've seen 213 orders totaling $76.72 million with a positive order value of 63%, which is very bullish for a big name such as Tesla. And for major option expirations like June 16th, you are seeing the calls open interest at about 55%, the puts open interest at 45%. Now, if we go ahead and look further down the line, this is what we really want to see. For this August 18th expiration, by the time we get another earnings report that comes out, and, and, and maybe we're getting close to right Q3 earnings that would be coming out during that time, the volume that you're seeing today is 75% calls, 27% puts. So a lot of bullish positioning further into 2023 and uh you have seen a, a, about three and a half billion dollars worth of options placed on tesla this week positive order value of 57 percent. so considering the rally that we have seen very strong option activity from hedge funds and institutions on tesla stock and speaking of a rally if we go ahead and take a look at tesla on the charts here you're above your 200-day moving average. As I said, the RSI is oversold. So don't let me be so bullish that it's blinding. 
we will consolidate or even trade down for a couple days. That would not surprise me. That's kind of what I expect. But inevitably, you're you're going to start another larger uptrend. This is really just getting you back to the levels that you've seen in February of 2023. Around, I mean, where do you peak out? 217.65 back in February. You're back to that level. You're a dollar higher than that. Big deal. You got a lot higher to go ultimately once the markets start to realize and catch on to some of these some of these things that we're talking about here in this video. The MACD is bullish as well, but has a lot higher that it could go before that turns into a real negative factor. Now, the next level that I am really looking at, the next level of resistance on Tesla is $238. You could call it 240. So, that would be an upside move of roughly about nine and a quarter percent before you get to the next resistance level. Ultimately, the major resistance level on a technical basis is around $315 per share. That is the level that you were at in September of 2022. So in the grand scope of things, not that long ago, that's a 43.35% increase from here. I mean, you're still down if we look to the all-time highs, we got to condense this chart a little bit. To the all-time highs, you're still down about 96.47%. Well, you still need to rally about 95% to get back to all-time highs. So there is a lot of meat on the bone. And I think you could blow past all-time highs, as I indicated in the last videos. It's it's only a matter of time before markets catch on to some of these things. So I think now could be some pretty good positioning. But if you wanted to wait for Tesla to come down for a day or two or maybe a couple days or trade sideways here, let the premiums kind of chill out, not a bad move as well. So that is it for this video. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and source your comments, questions, or concerns down below in the comment section if you learned anything out of this video. You guys enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.